Hey everybody, my favorite time of the year is back. College football. Strike at a Heisman pose. You know what barbecue rice is going to do with this thing today? We're going to take this chicken and we're going into the end zone for a touchdown. We're going to take this chicken and we're going to smoke it and we are going to make some smoked buffalo chicken dip. Giddy up. Man, I tell you, college football season gets this guy so fired up, he almost can't stand it. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's get into our smoking top five picks. Here we go. Starting off at number five, we got the LSU Tigers. Coming in at number four, we've got a hot team. We got the Penn State Nittany Lions. Coming in at number three this week, we've got the Georgia Bulldogs. Coming in at number two this week, rolling in the Alabama Crimson Tide. Were the Akron Zips able to hang on to the number one spot this week? I don't think so. They're out of here. We've got a brand new number one. Let's get a drum roll, please. It is the UTEP Miners. Give it up for UTEP. Way to go, UTEP. All right, now our pick of the week. This game is going to be a tough one. We have got the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. This game will be at Notre Dame. They're ranked like 8 and 12, something like that. This one's a very interesting game, and I went back and forth of who I was going to pick. But I tell you, I believe I'm going to take the Irish. Fighting Irish, I believe, are going to pull this out in a very close game. I really believe that. So anyway, tell you what, let's go ahead and now let's talk about this football food, what we got going on. As I mentioned just a couple seconds ago, we're going to smoke a chicken. We're going to make smoked buffalo chicken dip. We're going to do this two ways, all right? We're going to make it into a dip. And we're also going to make sliders out of this, all right? Now, we will be smoking this on our pit boss today. We're going to smoke this on a high temperature. We're going about 400, okay? It's going to take it roughly about an hour and 15 minutes, okay? I may even smoke two chickens. If you smoke two chickens, it's going to take a little bit longer, okay? We're going to add ranch dressing, hot sauce, cream cheese. We're going to throw stuff in it at the end to jazz it up and take it to another level, all right? So I tell you what, man. Let's just go ahead and let's quit running our mouths and let's get this going. Giddy up. All right, so let me explain to you a little bit about what we're doing and not doing with this chicken, okay? One thing I didn't do, I didn't season this chicken. The reason I'm not seasoning it is because when you season a chicken, unless you get underneath the skin and everything, there's no need to season it because you're not gonna eat the skin in this dish, okay? However, let me tell you what I did do. I did spray it quite liberally with vegetable oil, okay? Now, keep in mind when you're working with chicken, use plenty of gloves, disposable gloves, okay? Cross-contamination, chicken's very dangerous, so be sure to wear plenty of gloves. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup we got going today. All right, so that's the setup we got going on today. That is our tailgater pit boss. And this is the temperature we've got set at. We're doing 400 today. It's going to take it about 10 more minutes to get settled in, and we're getting ready to put these chickens on. All right, the pit boss is up to temp. It's up to 400 degrees. We're going to throw these puppies in here. We're also smoking it with hickory today, so let's get this started. All right, so we have two chickens today, so I've actually put them on a double rack. We're just going to set them here towards the right-hand side because my heat source is over here. So we're going to check on these in roughly 30 minutes. You want the breast to temp 165, thighs around 180. All right, so let's check these guys. It's been about an hour and a half. You have a really nice collar. This is the breast right here. That says 171. That says that's done. Yeah, 165. Let's check out Big Boy over here. Big boy's got, he's close to 160. Alright, this guy's a little, tell you what, we're gonna 
probably pull the smaller bird in about 10 minutes, and then the bigger one will get done in just a few minutes after that. All right, let's take a peek. Oh yes, they are looking gorgeous. We're gonna pull them off. We're gonna pin them for about 15 minutes, let them cool down a little bit so I can work with them. Then we're gonna pull a shred and chop it. Then we'll take it from there. Woo, Nelly, look at that. All right, this chicken's good to go. So let's go ahead and start tearing into this, man. Look at all that juice. Woo, now we got a juice of lanch. So you just tear off the leg quarters. Now I'm gonna tell you, man, there's a lot of good meat on the back side. Like I say, this skin's gonna come off. We're not using the skin. We've got all this good breast meat here. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and shred this and then I'll get back at you. All right, so we have six cups of chicken here. It's chopped up now. I'm gonna season it. I'm using Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. Um, like I said, I didn't season the chicken, so I'm going to season it now. Just take my spoon here and get all up in it. All that good jazz. I'm going to hit it with a little bit more. Okay, this is a pretty standard recipe. Okay, you have a half a cup hot sauce, ranch dressing, one block of cream cheese for every two cups of chopped chicken. We have six cups of chopped chicken because it did two birds, so you got to multiply all of that times three. So here we go. One and a half cups each of ranch dressing and hot sauce. Three blocks of cream cheese. Now we gotta go in and mix all this up. All right, now that everything is mixed, dump this into your cast iron skillet. And then level it out and then we are going to top it with some fresh shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Now let's top it with the Monterey Jack cheese. This is gonna get all bubbly and stuff on the top of it. Now a lot of people like to put blue cheese. Listen, I don't care for blue cheese, so there's gonna be plenty of blue cheese at the store because I'm not getting any. So you know what, I'm just gonna dump a bit of it. That was eight ounces, by the way, if y'all are keeping score at home. We just put that on the top there. I'm gonna doll this up off camera. We're getting ready to put this in, just a minute. All right, here we're going in at 350. We'll check on it in about 20 minutes or so. All right, let's take a look at it. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's a good day right there. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out. Let's set this rascal up. All right, so this is what we got out of this. This is the sliders. You've got the smoked buffalo chicken along with a pickle on a Hawaiian slider bun. And here is our scrumptious buffalo chicken dip. Oh man, this just smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's go ahead and taste test this. This was very fun to do. This just, it was a blast. So I tell you what, can't wait to dig in. Let's go ahead and try this slider. This slider is a Hawaiian bun. We got a hamburger dill chip pickle on there and a good smoked buffalo. Let's go in for it. Mmm. Man, that is really tasty. This dip, it's creamy. It's really good. It's very good. You get the crunch of that pickle. Pickle kind of cools it down just a little bit. Very good. So let's go ahead and let's go in our dip with a pita chip. Okay, now, we topped it with Monterey Jack cheese, so let's go ahead and get some of this Monterey Jack cheese up in there too. I hope this isn't gonna burn my mouth. So here we go. Let's give this a shot. Mmm. Yes. That's very good. Mm. We got a flag on the play. We have holding. This guy is going to hold on to the dip and the sliders, and he's not letting anybody else have any, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Much might like that. So listen, if you like what you saw here today, I would like to ask you to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. That's that's how this channel grows. When you subscribe, be sure to ding that bell, and you'll have some options. Choose option all. What that means is anytime we put anything up, you're going to get it from YouTube, whether it's YouTube, 
or YouTube Shorts. We're also on social media, obviously Facebook. We're also on Instagram and TikTok. Giddy up.